Ryzen 3 Ryzen 3 is AMD's entry-level CPU line, built for everyday tasks and budget-friendly gaming. What makes Ryzen 3 fascinating isn't raw power, it's accessibility. When AMD introduced it, the goal was clear. Tear down the old wall where Intel's i3 dominated cheap desktops and laptops. Suddenly, a student building a $500 PC could afford four physical cores, not just two hyper-threaded ones. That meant browsing, editing documents, streaming music, and even light gaming could happen all at once without the machine gasping for air. The story of Ryzen 3 is really the story of democratization. It took multi-core performance, something once reserved for higher-tier buyers, and pushed it into the hands of anyone with a modest budget. You'll often find it in entry-level gaming rigs, small office desktops, or the first laptop a teenager uses for school. What stands out is how Ryzen 3 taught the market that cheap no longer meant weak. It challenged the whole industry to raise the baseline, forcing even competitors to rethink what the word entry-level should mean in the modern computing world. Ryzen 5 Ryzen 5 is AMD's mid-range powerhouse, balancing affordability with serious performance for gaming, content creation, and multitasking. The character of Ryzen 5 is that of the sweet spot. It's the line that appeals to the largest slice of the market, from hobbyist gamers to small business professionals. With six cores and often 12 threads, Ryzen 5 chips became the heart of PCs that could do it all. You could render video on Premiere Pro while keeping dozens of browser tabs open, then launch into a graphically demanding game, all with Without needing workstation class hardware. This is where AMD's Zen architecture started to feel like a revolution. It offered an experience that used to cost hundreds more. Ryzen 5 processors are the reason esports cafes filled up with AMD machines, why so many streamers in the late 2000s chose Red Team over Blue, and why the phrase, more cores for your dollar, became the rallying cry of AMD fans. If Ryzen 3 was the opening act, Ryzen 5 was the declaration that AMD could compete at the center of the market, not just on the fringes. It gave everyday users the taste of high performance without a high-end price tag, redefining what a mid-range CPU could be. Ryzen 7 Ryzen 7 is AMD's performance class CPU line, built for enthusiasts, creators, and gamers who want more than good enough. Its role in the Ryzen story is dramatic. For years, Intel's i7 carried the crown in this tier. Then, AMD rolled out Ryzen 7 with eight physical cores at a price that undercut Intel's offerings. Suddenly, people who edited 4K video, produced music, or live-streamed high-quality gameplay didn't need to mortgage their rigs to get workstation-grade horsepower. It was a turning point. Ryzen 7 became the processor that let YouTubers, indie game developers, and freelance designers compete with bigger studios because the hardware barrier was lowered. In esports, it wasn't unusual to find Ryzen 7 rigs powering teams where every millisecond mattered. For many users, this CPU line felt like AMD stepping into the spotlight with something unapologetically ambitious, not just competing with Intel, but embarrassing them in price to performance. Ryzen 7 wasn't about the mainstream, it was about breaking into the territory where creative professionals live, where deadlines and rendering times make or break reputations, and it earned that ground. Ryzen 9 Ryzen 9 is AMD's flagship consumer CPU line, the brute force option for people who want the maximum performance without entering server class territory. The leap from Ryzen 7 to Ryzen 9 was symbolic. From 8 cores to 12 and even 16 in later generations, Ryzen 9 marked AMD's dominance in the enthusiast space. These weren't chips for casual users. They were for the people running multiple 4K monitors, compiling massive code bases, editing feature-length films, or crunching scientific datasets, all on a desktop. Top. Ryzen 9 is the point where AMD started winning over not just gamers, but professionals who once swore by Intel's HEDT high-end desktop chips. And because AMD priced them aggressively, entire industries shifted. Small studios that once outsourced rendering could suddenly handle projects in-house. Game streamers could encode video in real time without losing frames. Even engineers and architects embraced Ryzen 9 systems as a cost-effective alternative to Xeons. It gave a sense of excess power, almost decadent for home use, but revolutionary for creative and technical work. In short, Ryzen 9 was AMD planting a flag. Not only were they back in the game, they were running it. Ryzen Pro 
Ryzen Pro is AMD's enterprise-focused CPU line designed for secure, reliable performance in business environments. On paper, it might look like just another Ryzen chip, but its mission is very different. Instead of chasing frame rates or rendering speeds, Ryzen Pro focuses on the things that companies care about – stability, manageability, and data protection. Features like full memory encryption and remote management tools make it a natural fit for fleets of office PCS. Think of a multinational with thousands of employees. The IT department Department doesn't want to worry about custom setups or security holes. Ryzen Pro answers that need by delivering performance with an added layer of trust. But there's also a quiet cultural impact here. By introducing Pro models, AMD made Ryzen credible, not just in the consumer market, but in the boardroom. For years, Intel's V Pro branding owned that space. Ryzen Pro forced the conversation. Businesses now had a viable, often more cost-effective alternative. It wasn't flashy, but it was strategic. A move that told enterprises, Ryzen isn't just for gamers, it's for your workforce. 2. Ryzen Threadripper Ryzen Threadripper is AMD's high-end desktop and workstation monster, known for extreme core counts and staggering performance. When Threadripper debuted, it felt almost theatrical, up to 32 cores and 64 threads on a single consumer-accessible chip. For video editors, 3D artists, data scientists, and engineers, it was like AMD had delivered a supercomputer they could fit under a desk. The name Threadripper wasn't just branding, it was a statement of intent. These chips tore through workloads that used to demand multi CPU server systems. A VFX artist could simulate fluids and particles without waiting overnight. An architect could render photorealistic building models before lunch. And enthusiasts, people who just love the idea of maxing out performance, built rigs with Threadripper purely because it redefined what a desktop could do. Its massive size, unique TR4 socket, and support for quad-channel memory made it a symbol of AMD's engineering bravado. Threadripper wasn't built for the average consumer. It was built for people who refuse to compromise, the ones pushing boundaries in creative and scientific fields. In doing so, it reminded the industry that desktop computing could still be jaw-dropping. Ryzen Mobile Ryzen Mobile is AMD's answer to a world that no longer sits still. Laptops were once Intel's fortress. Lightweight, battery efficient, always a step ahead. But when AMD brought Zen architecture into slim machines, the balance shifted. Suddenly, you could slip a thin and light laptop into your bag that wasn't just good for emails and spreadsheets. It could edit video, run Blender, or handle real gaming without draining the battery in an hour. For students, creatives, or remote workers, Ryzen Mobile meant not having to choose between portability and power. AMD leaned hard into integrated Radeon graphics, which gave Ultra Portables an edge, no extra GPU needed, yet smooth performance for modern workloads. It's the Ryzen that travels, shrinking desktop class power into a form that can run on an airplane tray table, proving mobility doesn't have to mean compromise. Ryzen Embedded Ryzen Embedded is the branch most people never see, yet it surrounds us daily. These chips hide inside digital billboards, ATMS, medical equipment, even slot machines and casinos. Unlike desktop or laptop processors, embedded parts must run non-stop for years without failure. In environments where maintenance is rare and downtime is costly, they deliver steady performance, secure virtualization, and extended availability, critical for industries where replacing hardware isn't simple. When a hospital relies on imaging machines powered by Ryzen Embedded, Embedded, consistency matters more than peak clock speeds. For AMD, this line extends Ryzen beyond personal computing, weaving it quietly into the infrastructure of modern life. It's the invisible Ryzen, never advertised on gaming forums, but running behind the scenes to keep the world ticking. Done watching? If you like this video, hit subscribe for more cool stuff.